All right, guys, so I'm going to start doing my um, weekly makeup. Uh, shop my stash that I already went and selected the items that I want to choose. So I'm just going to go ahead and briefly show you everything that I chose for this week. So I'm going to be using this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer as well as the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizer. I really like how this primer smooths. Um, my complexion however I do feel like I need more um, something in addition to help with my pores for complexion I'm going to use this um, Maybelline master camo I stopped using it because every time I would use it uh, my the black the ink would smear all over my hands but I wiped it off and I hope that it doesn't give me any problems because it is a very good color corrector I'm also going to use up the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation I'm in the shade 7 I have very little left so I'm hoping I can finish it maybe in about two weeks I think I'm up to here right now but I really really enjoy this foundation i'm going to be mixing it with this mark jacobs shameless um sample that i received this is in the shade tan so it does appear to be a little too dark for me so i can mix it in with the magic foundation by charlotte tilbury and it's a great color match for concealer i am still panning my um, naked skin concealer i'm almost done with it so very excited and i'm also going to be using the color pop uh, no filter concealer and i am in the shade medium 26 i think i've used this once or twice now so i still don't know exactly how i feel about it but i'm going to try it out this week for setting powder, I'm going to continue using my Marc Jacobs Finish Line uh, Invisible. I do like this for my under eyes. Um, and I'm also going to be using the Hourglass uh, Veil Finishing pow Translucent Setting Powder. I love this. I, I did notice that uh, Sephora is selling these in minis now, but I think I'm just going to finish this and go for the full size because I really do enjoy it. And for bronzer, I'm going to use um, the Becca Bronzed Bondi. It's the Sunlit Bronzer. And let me open it and show you what it looks like. So this is what this one looks like. It is very pretty. It does look a little dark in the pan, but it applies very nicely on the face. For blushes, I'm going to use this Becca Flushed with Light Trio. And it comes in the shades uh, starting from left to right. I believe it's Hysteria. And then the second shade, let's see. Okay, I apologize. So on the left is Wisteria, and the middle shade is called Songbird, and the last shade is Snapdragon. I think that this gives me a good variety for any um, look that I have, and I'll go ahead and swatch them real quick. Okay, so here are the swatches. Um, the top one is Snapdragon, and the middle one is Songbird. And the bottom one closest to my watch is Wisteria. And I didn't really blend it out a lot, that middle one, but they're beautiful shades, so I can't wait to use those. Okay, and as you all know by now, probably, um, eye products are by far my favorite. So I'm really excited that I just received my shipment from Beautylish, and I'm going to be using the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows, which are new releases from Hourglass. This is what the outer packaging looks like. I bought two shades, so this first one is the shade Reflect, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. This is what the shade looks like. And the second shade that I purchased is Smoke. And this is what smoke looks like. And I went ahead and I swatched them on my hand. These are obviously heavy swatches. Um, the top one is Reflect. And it seems more like a pink 
champagne glimmer and then the bottom one is smoke and these remind me of the Natasha Denona ones but they have an opaque base like they actually have a color base it's not just the glimmer but look how beautiful that is that's just a dry swatch um didn't and I just did it with my finger so I'm excited to try these on my eyes also, um, for the eyes, I decided to go with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and Semi Sweet. I really had a hard time deciding what I wanted to pull out this week, but I thought maybe these colors would go well with um, the Hourglass uh, Shimmers. So I'm going to use this shade. I think out of the Chocolate Bar Palettes, this is the one that I've used the least. So I want to put it to some good use this week. For highlight, I decided to pull out my um, Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Sugar, and this is what it, they look like. I actually don't remember if I've even used these on my face. Um, I did swatch them, but they look brand new, so I'm definitely going to try this out, and I also went ahead and swatched it. So this is the top shade is... Oh, I forgot the names. I, okay, so the top shade is Marshmallow. The second pink shade is Gumdrop. And then we have Butterscotch. And the last shade at the bottom is Starburst. So this is what a heavy swatch looks like. I'm pretty sure that with a fan brush, I can make these a lot more wearable. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up using Butterscotch the most, which is the... Uh, second to last um right there the one that's a little more gold uh marshmallow really surprised me it's very it's like a yellow gold um but yeah i'll be using this for lip products i chose two i have the pat mcgrath matte trans lipstick in the shade 1993 and this is what she looks like in the tube this is one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, this is always my go-to when I'm not sure what I want to use. I always use this one. And I purchased this Too Faced. Um, this is from their Natural Nudes collection. And it's in the shade um, Pout About It. And... I didn't realize how similar of a color it was, but the formula is very different. So this is supposed to be, I guess it's infused with coconut butter or something like that. So I'm excited to try this one. I actually just purchased this today. Um, Ulta is actually having a buy one, get one free of the Too Faced lipstick. So I purchased this one and a, a matte lipstick. So this is what they look like swatched. Um, the top one is the Pat McGrath 1993 shade and the bottom is the Too Faced and yes they are very similar. I guess I just have a type of tone that I prefer. <laughs> so those are my lip picks for the week. I'll go through the eye products very quickly. I have two open mascaras right now and one of them is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes mascara and I have the out new hourglass caution extreme lash mascara and I've used this a couple times two times already definitely I ha did not notice any flaking uh, the brush is natural bristles and it's tapered so you can get even the smallest lashes it really does lift my lashes and volumizes them and so far this is a great mascara um, I'm going to continue using it and maybe I can update you guys on how it continues to work. But so far it's amazing. Uh, this is the Hourglass Brow Gel and this is just in a clear gel. I have um, pretty full brows so I just use this sometimes when I need to comb some of the hairs down. And then also for brows, I have this Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade Deep Brown. Eyeliners, I have, this is a Rimmel. 
yeah rimmel exaggerate and this is just a in the shade in the nude it's the shade in the nude and it's just um like a beige liner uh, for black liner i had this deluxe sample for makeup forever and i am in love with this liner i am pretty sure i'll be purchasing a full size very soon and um also this was a deluxe um gift with purchase from sephora and it's the fenty beauty uh fly liner in the shade because i'm black and yeah this is a felt tip liner so or a brush i don't even know how to describe it i think this is a like a felt tip i guess i think it's more of a felt tip but i've been enjoying it so i'm going to continue using it and last but not least, this is, um, I'm very excited about this. I'm adding these three new products to, um, three new brushes to my collection. And they're the Sonia G. This is the Builder One brush. I bought this one because it says that it could be used with cream or powder products. And a lot of the reviews that I watched said that they work well with the all the glitter pigments so I'm thinking I'm going to be using this with the hourglass and hopefully it deposits the product well um, this is the face one brush and the reason I purchased this one is because I watch um, Michelle Wang and she talked about her favorite brushes um, for finishing powder and this is a brush that she mentioned that she prefers so I believe it's a squirrel brush I'm not too sure I have to look that up but I'm really looking forward to using this brush I love the handles um, it, it has good weight to it it I mean I'm just impressed by how nice they look and then this is the which one is the sculpt 3 brush and also Michelle Wang recommended this one for highlight and I think she used it let me take this off Okay, um, this is the Sculpt 3 brush, and this was also from the Michelle Wong um, video. She used this when she demoed uh, different highlighters in her video, and this one has a very precise application. It's, it's not as um, flimsy, I guess, as other fan brushes, but it does pick up product nicely, and it's very soft, and densely packed so i am so excited these three products i think i'm the most excited about for this week so that's all i have for today um sorry i didn't show my face but um i'm just not feeling that well today so i thought it'd be fun and much faster to just show you all of the products so i hope you're all having a great week and i will see you very soon bye